Frank Bunker Gilbreth was born in 1868 and died in 1924. He took his first step into the field of management in 1885, when on his second day as an apprentice bricklayer, he questioned why he was being taught several different methods for laying bricks. His interest in finding the best method led to his development of motion and fatigue study. Motion study was first developed when it was applied to the world's oldest mechanical trade, bricklaying. The traditional method, even after 6,000 years, involved unnecessary stooping, walking, and reaching. Hod carriers still dumped the bricks, damaging them. The bricklayer then made a careful inspection of each brick in order to determine its best side before laying it. A 225-pound man bending to his shoe tops twice for each brick expends much more energy than in moving the four and a half pound brick. He stoops once for the brick, then once again for the mortar. Excessive stooping was the fatiguing and unskilled part of the job and required most of the time. To eliminate waste motion, Gilbert designed a non-stooping scaffolding platform and a one-motion grass packet. When the men worked on the wall, a lifting jack gradually raised the entire scaffold. This device, patented by Gilbert in 1891, maintained the level of mortar and bricks at the most untiring height and close to the wall. By applying the Gilbert system of motion analysis, the motions per brick were reduced from 18 to 5. The number of bricks laid per hour increased from 125 to 350, increasing productivity by nearly 200%. The most tiring part of the job had been the stooping, 250 times per hour. Under the new method, a man could lay more bricks standing in the least tiring position. 